Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel your breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And then try to stay there all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Let the breath be comfortable. If long breathing doesn't feel good, you can change. Make it shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Try to create a little island of well-being inside you right now. That island of well-being inside you, that's called merit. Or it basically, bunya is the Pali term. A better translation might be just goodness, the goodness of the mind that comes when you do something good. And you want to appreciate that because that's food for the mind, nourishment for the mind. In times like this when you really need strength inside. We have that chant that we recite on a regular basis, I'm subject to aging, illness, death, and separation. The Thai translation is aging is normal, illness is normal, death is normal. And we look at it from a distance, we can see, yes, it is a normal part of life. When it's up close, we have, however, we, it doesn't seem normal at all. We can see how much it hurts. So we have to acknowledge that, that we have, there's been a loss. But at the same time, we have to think about the good things in life still are around, are still there. There's a story in the canon where Sariputta, who was the Buddha's, one of the Buddha's foremost disciples, passes away. And Ananda, who was the Buddha's attendant, comes and brings the news. He talks of how he is totally wiped out by the news of Sariputta's passing because Sariputta had done so many good things for him. And the Buddha asked him, when Sariputta left, did he take virtue with him? No. Concentration? No. Discernment? No. Release from suffering? No. These, these are all the good things in life. They're still there. So we do these good things. This is why we make merit on occasion of a death like this. One, so you can send the merit to the person who's passed away. We try to create a feeling of well-being inside in spite of the events. Reminding ourselves that there is such a thing as goodness and it's still there. So you hold on to that. And then for the currents of your mind, you can send a good energy to the person who's passed. This is one of the Buddha's most basic teachings, is the power of the mind. We live in a world of aging, illness, and death, but it is possible not to suffer from these things through developing our minds. And this is one of the instances where we can see the power of the mind. We may not be able to see it directly, but we can have faith in the power of the mind. So the goodness we do and dedicate it to others, if they sense it and they appreciate it, they're going to benefit too. At the same time, we remind ourselves that goodness still exists in the world. It's still here. Appreciate the people you have now. This is the other lesson that we have to take from an event like this, is heedfulness. Realizing we don't know how much time we have with one another, how much time we have on this earth. So take the, make the most of the opportunities to be good to yourself, train yourself to be good to the people around you. Because that goodness does have a meaning that transcends death. In the Buddhist teaching, death is not the end. As long as the mind has the desire to come back and be reborn, it will be reborn again. We don't know where. This is why we dedicate merit to the person who's passed, wherever that person may be. May they benefit from the energy of our goodness. And may we benefit from the energy of our goodness as well. Don't let these events like this discourage you. Think of the Buddha and his quest for awakening. He met up with many, many difficulties. But he kept, kept in mind the, the ideal that there is, must be something that in this world that where there's so much aging, illness, and death again and again and again, there must be something that doesn't age, doesn't grow ill, doesn't die. That can be found within. To our faith that there is goodness in the world, there's a possibility for goodness in the world, goodness in your own mind, goodness in your own heart. Try to develop that because that's where true happiness lies, in developing the good qualities of the mind, good qualities of the heart. These are the things that nourish us as we go through life, and they can provide us with an opportunity to go to something that's beyond aging, illness, and death. Well, there's no more need for grief like this anymore, no more need for separation like this anymore, because the mind has found something of solid worth inside.